Jason here from Theme Punch. So today we're going to be talking about how you can set up an image swap. And I just googled this real quick and found this example. And basically, when you hover your mouse over an image, it will change to another. So let's go ahead and set that up with slider revolution. So first thing I'm going to do is just create a new slider. And I'm going to set the width and height for the layer's grid size to the same size as my image. And next we'll give it a name, call it maybe image swap. And uh, for the background, I'm going to just set this to solid colored for now, for this example. And the first thing we'll do is we'll add our default image. And in this example, it's going to be a black and white version of this image here which is basically just a road, some grass, and a sky. So first thing I'm going to do is align it, center, and the next thing is set the width and the height here to cover. And then I'm going to change the behavior align from grid-based to slide-based. And we can rename that image uh, BW Okay, so let's add the color version now, and that's this one right here, and same thing, I'm going to align it center, change the width and height to cover, and then for behavior, change the align to slide based, and rename this color. So the last thing to do is to set up a transparent shape layer that will act as our actions layer. So I'm going to go to add layer and then shape and then set the opacity to zero for the background and then full width and full height to on. And this will create a layer that's basically transparent and we're going to add some mouse enter and mouse leave actions to it to control the effect here. So I'm going to uh, align it exactly the same as my image, center, center. And then for behavior, align, slide based. And the idea here is we want these images to cover the entire slide. So these are the settings to achieve that. And so for this, I'm just going to name this actions. So the stacking order is important here for this setup. We have the black and white image, which will be our default image, which is basically what you'll see when the slide first comes into view. And then the colored version will be shown when we hover our mouse over the slide. And then the actions layer needs to have the highest Z index here, which means it's on top of all the other layers. And that's how it will register our mouse events that we add. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got the actions layer selected here. And I'm going to head over to the actions tab. And first thing, we need a mouse enter action. And we want to control the animation for the colored image. So I'm going to choose start layer in animation. And then for the target, that will be color, which is this layer right here. And then animation timing, we set that to wait for trigger and then trigger memory reset, which basically means that every time the slide is shown, our actions here will reset and the default image will be shown. So we also need a mouse leave action here. And so for that, we'll add a start layer out animation and then target the color image again and wait for trigger, reset animation for those, and that should be it. So let's go ahead and save this slide, and then test it, and we should have our effect here. Cool. Okay, so you could also add a hand cursor, and also a click event. So let's do that real quick. Let's go ahead and uh, we've got the actions layer selected, and then under Style, Advanced Style, we head over to Hover, 
and we change this mouse cursor here from auto to pointer. And that will give us the hand cursor. And then if we also wanted to add a click action, we could go ahead and add a click here, simple link, then type in whatever URL you want uh, to navigate to. So let's just test this real quick. See our nice hand cursor. There we go. Now it looks like a clickable link here with a nice hover effect. That image changing from black and white to color. Okay, so let's do this with another example just so you can see how it can be done with images that aren't meant to cover the entire slide. So I'm going to head back to all sliders, new slider, and I guess we can just call this example two, example two. Save settings. And actually, you know what? I'm going to head back to slider settings because I want to set this up to be a full screen slider. Okay, so back to the slide editor. Uh, what we'll do is for our main background image, let's go ahead and select these clouds here. And then let's go ahead and add some images just like we did before. But this is going to be one image changing into another as opposed to the black and white effect. So let's select this guy right here. And maybe we'll place this, I don't know, maybe toward the top left. So we'll give it X and Y of 40 and 40 with a top left. And we're going to leave the size here at custom, which is the original size. And we won't uh, adjust the behavior either because we want this aligned to the grid for our example here. Uh, so one thing we could do is maybe add a, a border to this image. So under style, a border, uh, maybe we go ahead and, I don't know, maybe five pixel border. Maybe we go black. Okay. And so let's add our second image. So we'll label this default IMG. And our second image here will be this girl. So we'll also set this to, I think it was 40 and 40. And then with the border, I believe the border was five pixels. Okay, perfect. So this will be cover IMG. Okay, and so the last thing is our shape layer. So let's just get the parameters for this, which are 291 by 516. So that's what we'll need to set our shape layer up as. So right back up here, add layer, shape. So that will be 291, 516 with a transparent background. Okay, and so we'll go ahead and align this to 4040, just like the others. And this will be our actions layers, actions. And then with that selected, we'll go up to actions here and add our mouse enter and mouse leave actions. So start layer in, we'll target the hover IMG, wait for trigger and reset. Now mouse leave, start layer out, hover IMG, wait for trigger and reset. Okay, so that should be it. And let's go ahead and save the slide. And then let's test this on the front end of our site 
And for the front end, I actually have a blank full screen template. And this blank full screen template is just a 2016 child theme with template set to full screen template here. And so if you're interested in this, I'll post the link to right at this part of this tutorial as it discusses this uh, template, where you can get it, and how you can set it up. So this is just kind of cool if you want to have a full screen slider with no other elements on the page. So maybe you don't want your default menu or your default footer. It just gives you a blank slate to work with, which is great for full screen revolution sliders. So let's go ahead and add example two and update it and reload the page here. And here's our image with our cloud background. And as we hover over, the image changes. And of course, we could add the mouse cursor like we did for the original example. And we could add a click event and have this go somewhere if we wanted to as well. So thanks for watching.